Cobalt is the backbone of lithium-ion batteries, powering everything from smartphones and laptops to the electric vehicles that are rapidly reshaping our roads. As the world shifts toward cleaner energy and digital connectivity, demand for cobalt has soared, making it one of the most sought-after minerals of the 21st century. While the Democratic Republic of Congo supplies most of the world's raw cobalt, over 70% of global production comes from its vast mineral-rich mines, the journey from ore to battery is far from straightforward. Nearly 90% of battery-grade cobalt is refined in China, where advanced facilities and a tightly integrated supply chain turn raw material into the high-purity cobalt needed for modern batteries. This gives China immense leverage over the global EV market, allowing it to influence prices, dictate supply, and shape the future of green technology. The green energy transition, heralded as the solution to climate change, now depends on a supply chain with a single point of control. Western nations are now acutely aware of their vulnerability, realizing that their ambitions for clean energy and technological leadership could be derailed by a single choke point. Any disruption in this supply chain could stall automotive production, threaten jobs, and put climate goals out of reach, sparking economic and political turmoil. The world's pivot from fossil fuels has made control over minerals like cobalt as crucial as oil once was, ushering in a new era of resource competition. Governments in North America and Europe are racing to build secure domestic supply chains, launching new mining projects and investing in refining capacity at home. Their goal is clear, to break free from this dependency and ensure that the next generation of technology is built on a foundation they control. But building a new refining industry is a monumental challenge, requiring not just technical expertise, but also massive infrastructure and a skilled workforce. It demands huge investments, long-term planning, and unwavering political will, factors that can be difficult to align in democracies facing competing priorities. China's dominance was built over years, with a strategic vision that combined state support, aggressive investment, and a willingness to take risks others avoided. Lower costs, government backing, and a relentless focus on scaling up gave China a head start, advantages Western nations must now overcome if they hope to compete. The stakes are high, every delay risks falling further behind in the race for technological and economic leadership. Every new project, every investment, is an attempt to redraw the global map of industrial power and secure a place in the future economy. The race is on to secure a foothold in the economy of tomorrow, one powered by clean energy, advanced technology and for now, cobalt at its core. In Northern Ontario, a bold response to China's dominance is underway. Electro-Battery Materials is building North America's first large-scale battery-grade cobalt refinery in Tamiskaming Shores. The goal provide a secure, ethical supply of refined cobalt for the continent's EV industry. This project marks Canada's shift from raw material exporter to a key player in high-value processing. By refining cobalt at home, Canada keeps jobs and value onshore, strengthening its role in the green energy transition. The COVID-19 pandemic and global tensions have exposed the risks of relying on distant suppliers. After a funding pause in 2023, renewed investment in 2025 put the project back on track. The Electra refinery is now set to become a cornerstone of North America's mineral independence. It's a determined step toward a more resilient industrial future. A project of this scale needs more than private ambition. It demands a coalition. The vision for Electra's refinery is not just the dream of a single company, but the result of a powerful alliance between public and private sectors, crossing borders and industries. Electra's refinery is backed by government bodies from both Canada and the US, reflecting its strategic importance. This cross-border support highlights how critical the project is for both nations, not only for economic growth but also for technological leadership and resource security. In September 2025, Ontario pledged $17.5 million, signaling strong provincial support. This commitment from Ontario was a major milestone, demonstrating the province's belief in the refinery's potential to create jobs, drive innovation, and secure a domestic supply of critical minerals. This investment replaced a previous corporate commitment, stabilizing the project at a critical moment. When private funding wavered, the province stepped in, ensuring the refinery could move forward and maintain momentum during a period of uncertainty. The U.S. Department of Defense also awarded Electra $20 million, underscoring the refinery's role in continental security. This funding is not just financial support, 
it's a clear signal that the U.S. sees the refinery as essential to its national interests, especially as global competition for critical minerals intensifies. Washington sees the plant as vital to defense readiness, not just commercial supply. The refinery's output will help ensure that North American industries, including defense contractors, have reliable access to cobalt, a material crucial for advanced batteries and military technologies. Electra is still seeking federal Canadian funding, which could bring total government support to $64 million. If approved, this would further solidify the project's foundation and demonstrate a unified national commitment to securing the supply chain for critical minerals. This blend of provincial, U.S. military and potential federal funding transforms Electra from a corporate venture into a pillar of North American industrial policy. It's a model for how governments and industry can work together to address strategic challenges and build resilient supply chains. The message is clear, securing cobalt is a shared economic and security priority, and Electra's refinery stands at the heart of this new era of collaboration and strategic investment. The Electra refinery is designed to power North America's electric vehicle revolution. By 2027, it aims to produce 6,500 tons of battery-grade cobalt sulfate annually, enough for about 1 million EVs each year. This local supply will reduce dependence on Asian imports and give automakers like Ford and GM a stable, transparent source. Proximity means faster delivery, fewer shipping risks, and insulation from global disruptions. The refinery is the missing midstream link connecting Canadian mines to North American gigafactories. Without it, the continent remains fragmented and dependent on foreign refineries. The aggressive timeline is essential to meet surging EV demand. A steady cobalt supply will be a major competitive edge for North American automakers. The Electra refinery is more than just an industrial plant. It's a symbol of transformation for Canada and its allies. It marks a strategic shift for Canada positioning the nation at the forefront of global supply chain security. For decades, Canada was known for exporting raw resources, shipping minerals and metals abroad for processing. Now, the country is moving up the value chain, emerging as a hub for advanced processing and high-tech manufacturing, creating new jobs and expertise at home. This new capability directly addresses a key U.S. vulnerability, dependence on China for refined cobalt, a critical material for batteries, defense, and clean energy, the Canadian refinery offers a secure, reliable, and friendly alternative, reducing risks for North American industries. It strengthens the North American defense base, ensuring that essential materials are available for both civilian and military needs. The U.S. Department of Defense's investment signals that supply chain resilience is now a top national security priority, not just an economic concern. Canada's new role as a critical supplier gives it unprecedented leverage in trade negotiations and international diplomacy. The project moves the U.S.-Canada relationship beyond traditional commodities, forging a high-tech strategic partnership for the future. Canada is no longer just a resource-rich neighbor, it's evolving into a vital industrial ally, shaping the continent's future. This transformation is celebrated by workers and leaders alike, as Canada steps into a new era of influence. The refinery is not just a facility, it's a bargaining chip in global negotiations and a powerful symbol of shared continental goals and ambitions. With the Electra refinery, Canada cements its place at the heart of the future of energy, technology, and security for North America and beyond. Canada's importance to the U.S. goes far beyond minerals. It's the largest foreign supplier of energy, electricity, uranium, oil, and natural gas. Canadian hydro and uranium power American homes and nuclear plants, Millions of barrels of Canadian oil flow south daily, stabilizing U.S. energy markets. This steady, tariff-free supply is a buffer against global volatility and trade disruptions. The integrated pipeline network is a lifeline for the U.S. economy. The new cobalt refinery adds another layer to this deep partnership. As the U.S. transitions to clean energy, it will rely on Canada for both traditional and future fuels. This interdependency gives Canada a uniquely stable and powerful position in North American affairs. Prime Minister Mark Carney's vision is to make Canada a global energy superpower. The strategy leverage critical minerals, clean electricity, and traditional energy for industrial and geopolitical strength. Canada's vast mineral wealth like cobalt and lithium is now being refined at home, adding value before export. Abundant hydropower enables low-carbon manufacturing, attracting green investment. Oil and gas remain crucial, funding the transition to cleaner technologies. The goal is to be a leader in both today's and tomorrow's energy systems. 
This integrated approach ensures Canada's relevance and prosperity through the global energy transition. The Electra Refinery is a key piece of this long-term plan. Despite strong backing, the Electra Refinery faces real challenges. Construction was halted in 2023 due to a $60 million funding gap and cost overruns. Some analysts doubt the revised $100 million budget will be enough. Market demand for cobalt is strong long-term, but recent EV growth has slowed, raising questions about buyers. Securing long-term contracts with automakers is crucial for financial viability. Building a hydrometallurgical plant is complex, with risks of delays and budget overruns. Global supply dynamics are shifting, with Congo's new export quotas potentially impacting prices. Electra's success could redefine North American industry, or serve as a cautionary tale. The coming months will determine if this bold vision becomes reality, cementing Canada's new role in the global energy landscape.